Is hardening the arteries common? It is, it's very common. And what's the medical word we use for hardening of the arteries? Well, we use atherosclerosis. And what really is that? Well, it's a condition where the arteries get full of cholesterol and they harden by forming a, a cap that forms calcium and tissue and it constricts the blood vessel. And makes the vessels hard instead of pliable. How, how does the cholesterol get in those vessels? Well, we think that the, the lining of the blood vessel is injured. And once that injury occurs, white blood cells, the inflammation cells, they go into the blood vessel and then they start eating up cholesterol. And they bring the cholesterol into that vessel. They that bring right? the cholesterol in there and they, they basically start turning into white, you know, white blood cells full of cholesterol. Now, when we have cholesterol in these vessels and have hardening of the arteries, is it just in the heart or is it other places also? Well, it, it occurs everywhere. So oh. as soon as you get a blood vessel that's damaged, say in your leg or your heart, you can assume that it's throughout your body. Is this arteries that are being involved or is this veins? And what's the difference between those two? Well, well arteries are blood vessels that are rich in oxygen that are delivering oxygen to the to the muscles to the to the body and veins are the ones that return the body blood but hardening of the arteries or blockages only occur in arteries only in arteries now what arteries concerning the heart are involved well there's blood vessels around the heart just like there are blood vessels in the other parts of the body and so you start to worry when you start seeing the blood vessels that feed the heart start getting clogged with cholesterol and the problem that that can lead to if you don't get enough blood supply to the heart. Well, that's a heart attack. And is that the way basically heart attacks occur? You've got hardening of the arteries and they break open and block the vessel? It is. You start to get cholesterol plaques and then that they get a lining over the cholesterol plaque and when that gets ruptured, say you have high blood pressure or you're a smoker, it kind of cracks open that, that lining. Well, then that forms a, a clot. It's, it's an exposed, dangerous tissue and a blood clot form. And we're going to talk later about how to prevent that and treat that. If the hardening of the arteries is in the abdomen, uh, in the tummy part of the body, uh, what does that lead to? Well, once you start to get clots in the abdomen, they're more prone to, your body starts to compensate for it and those arteries start to enlarge. And as you get more and more clot, your body compensates by enlarging that artery and, and that's called an aneurysm. So that's an abdominal aneurysm, is that right? That's right, that's an abdominal aneurysm. You can also get them a little higher up in the aorta called a thoracic aneurysm. And if you get one of those, is it dangerous? If you get an abdominal aneurysm, sounds bad to me. It, it is bad, it can rupture and, and, and if, you can die <laughs> just like that. Very, very quickly, if that, that's the big vessel, if it ruptures, not don't so have, good. Don't have much time. That's right. Uh, does that happen in the head or the neck anywhere? Well, it, it's usually a different mechanism in the head and the neck. It's usually more of a, a clotting formation in the head and the neck, and then cholesterol plaques can close off the arteries there, similar to the way they do it in the heart. So if you've got blood that goes to the brain, we certainly want to have blood that goes to the brain. If you get hardening of the arteries of those vessels, how does the doctor find that out? Well. It, it's, it's an easy test to look for. You can hear you know, with your stethoscope. Yeah. You can listen to what the sound, What does this sound like? So it's, it's called a brewing. It's a oh, sound. So you, and, and normally you don't hear that. Normally you don't hear that. Uh, and if you hear that, it means you probably got... It means that you certainly well could have some blockage. And that could lead to a... And that leads to a stroke. And it's not a good stroke. It's, not a good it's stroke. It's a major stroke. So now we've got the heart. We've got the abdomen. We've got the neck. How about in the lower extremities? Well, you can get blockages into the, the legs, and when that happens, it, your blood flow to your legs is limited and you start having cramping. And we call that claudication. Is that, is that what happens when I wake up in the middle of the night and I've got a cramp? Uh, I don't think so. I, <laughs> I, I hope not. It, what, what happens is, that's a different type of cramp. This is a cramp that happens when you walk. So you walk a couple of blocks and you start getting cramping in your calves. As Why does that occur? No blood supply because of the lack of blood flow, hardening of the arteries, and hardening of the arteries.